Max family. Sorry. To Max family, you'll never understand how he was to us, what he meant to us, and I can never express to you guys how sorry we are. <clears throat> sorry. Is that a little better? Is that better? My apologies. Max family, I can never express how much you're he meant to us and how grateful we are to get to know him over the years in the last three years that I worked with Mac we became very close when at first I met Mac he told me don't even bother telling me your name until you've been here six months so I stopped two months later he looks at me and goes alright tell me about yourself so I started talking to him, getting to know each other, hearing about our families. He's such a great man. A couple of months go by and he comes to me and goes, how about you come back me up? I was like, are you serious? He goes, yeah. One of our supervisors pulls me to the side and goes, he's never asked for anybody to back him up, much less a new guy. He goes, take that and run. I felt like I won something. I asked everybody in the office for stories about Mac. Give us something that I can share with the family here. The one thing that everybody came up with, his laugh and that contagious smile that he had. The man had a really big heart. There were many stories and times that I've talked with Mac over the years that I will cherish forever. The two rules that he had, when you've been here six months, I'll get to know you and don't play with my money. <laughs> On the morning of February 29th, we were sitting in the office talking, joking around a little bit before we hit the field like we normally do. I was assigned to work with Mac that afternoon. The only thing that I can truly share with the family right now and the community as we're all trying to come together with what happened. The moments before everything happened, he was laughing. He called me brother. He gave me a hug before we took that long walk together. Mac will always be in my heart. And I will forever call him my brother. To all the agencies that responded when I hollered out, thank you. For everybody that responded, the outpouring from peer support, from the families, from here at the court, agencies from across the state, thank you. And the part that's going to really choke me up here, that's, so I apologize in advance, to my friend and brother Mac, may your memory live on forever, may you rest in peace, and we've got to watch from here, thank you.